Ashoka's Nine Unknown Men. Around 270 BCE, the Mauryan Emperor Ashoka formed the Nine Unknown Men, a secret club dedicated to preserving and developing certain personal information that could be dangerous to humanity if it fell into the wrong hands. As a result, it's safe to assume that we know far less than we don't when it comes to history over the years. While most of it may be attributed to a lack of knowledge, some areas were explicitly supposed to prevent commoners from learning about them. Later Talbot Mundy named them nine unknown men, but who these nine people were? It remains a puzzle. Why was the nine unknown men formed? Until Ashoka invaded Kalinga, he was known as a ruthless leader. He won the Kalinga War at the expense of 100,000 deaths, and the massive loss of life and terrible slaughter transformed him into a Buddhist. Following that, Ashoka dedicated his life to the pursuit of wisdom and peace. Samrat Ashoka realized that ancient India had amassed immense knowledge and human civilization, which he needed to preserve since he feared it would be a calamity if it fell into the wrong hands. So he founded a secret group, the Nine Unknown Men, to preserve knowledge in Indian civilization. Microbiology, propaganda, cosmology, physiology, sociology, alchemy, light, communication, and gravity were among the subjects Ashoka taught. Emperor Ashoka was supposed to believe that knowledge is power and that the key to preserving that power is to gather, develop, and apply knowledge in a way that can be used for significant actions but can also be horrible if it falls into the wrong hands. As a result, he gathered nine of India's most brilliant brains from diverse fields and disciplines to organize a secret society known as the Nine Unknown Men. This secret society was formed to amass as much scientific knowledge as possible and preserve them. Natural science, psychology, matter composition, physics, chemistry, astrology, and astronomy are a few examples. Only those nine men were allowed to study and develop scientific theories and technologies because Ashoka was afraid that if ordinary men were given this knowledge, they would use it for destruction. And to preserve and improve this, each of the nine guys was tasked with creating, updating, and revising a book. When one of the nine could no longer carry out the work due to death, bad health, or a desire to resign, the responsibility was passed on to a carefully chosen replacement. The point was that the society had to have nine members at all times. For nearly 2,000 years, the community of the nine unknown men has existed. In 1923, Talbot Mundy, an English writer, was influenced by this story and published The Nine Unknown Men. Before writing the book, he did a lot of research. The transcripts penned by the great Emperor Ashoka himself proved to be the most helpful aspect of his investigation. He deduced and compiled a list of nine books written by the nine persons based on those records.